Hello and welcome to my studio. This week I'm going to show you what I've been up to with this painting behind me. This painting is the uh, painting based on Chiswick House and Gardens and I'm going to show you where I've got to with this painting. I'm Helen, Helen Alice Johnson artist and each week I show you around my studio what I've been up to with my um, latest paintings or if I've been travelling. So I actually took a break from this painting of about six weeks because I wasn't happy with the way that it was going. Whilst doing that I did some more sort of prep work in my sketchbook looking at some of the shapes and patterns um, that are at Chiswick and then I have actually started to put those into the painting. I've also um, done this in black and white here, this is to try to get a, an idea of sort of tonal range often is a good way of, um, of helping with an abstract painting. So here what you can see is I am actually making a glaze, a blue glaze. This is um, some pure pigment that was very kindly given to me by um, my good friend Lindsay Storer and I'm at the moment just mixing some, some liquid and some oil, some linseed oil and then I'm going to add this beautiful blue pigment to the oil which I'm then going to use that glaze to create that circular pattern that I just showed you from my sketchbook and to kind of just subtly overlay uh, on, the, on the painting. So I've, um, it's new to me using glazes in this way so it's all a little bit experimental but the, uh, the pigment is a really beautiful blue when you add it to the it was quite sort of um, like a bright blue there but when you add it to the uh, to the oil it turns into um, almost like a cerulean kind of fallow pale or fallow blue and there's the actual name of it gorgeous So you can see here um, what I've done with it, so that's that sort of slight overlay, so it's quite subtle. What I did was I actually um, drew that on with a, a large compass and chalk, yellow chalk and a little bit of orange chalk actually because I ran out of the yellow. <clears throat> and then what I'm doing now is I'm taking that chalk back off with a cotton bud and um, some distilled turpentine so that it is really subtle so you can't see the lines in between. I've also been busy this week getting ready for the Windsor Art Fair so I'm exhibiting at the Windsor Art Fair on the 25th to the 27th of November and um, you'll see here some, a stack of frames uh, ready um, for those paintings, um, the painting, the Chiswick House and Garden, plus others. Um, and then I've also got uh, two halves of paintings here. I've got the medieval garden, which is called Gone with the Wind. And that is that one and this one. So here is Gone with the Wind, which is also ready, waiting to be framed and is also going to be down at um, Windsor. Finally, another one waiting to be framed. This one is Purple Delight. Um, showing you it on previous videos of the garden and of uh, my studio. Um, happy to say that this is sold, so it's going to be framed and going back to uh, the garden where it's, uh, it's inspired from, actually. The, the owners of the garden have bought the painting, so that's great news. As you'll see, I've also been busy getting ready for uh, Windsor Art Fair, which is coming up on the 25th to the 27th of November. If you subscribe to my website, you will have um, already received an invitation, free invitation for the tickets for the weekend. And um, if you're interested in that, please subscribe to my website and I'll um, get in touch with you about getting you some, some tickets to go and see that show. Thanks ever so much for watching. Hope it's been useful and I hope to see you in a garden somewhere tomorrow and if not see you next week in my studio. Thanks again.